Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create movable objects. In this tutorial I'm going to be making a train from going one end to the other. But you can use this for any other vehicles or objects such as buses, cars, providing that they have the dynamic prop. So first things first, let's introduce the prop. So click your entity tool and write in prop underscore dynamic. Now they must be dynamic, you can't have a static or a physics object. So double click on the dynamic prop and go to world models and browse and search in a prop vehicle and I'm going to be using a train so if I just have a look through the trains I'm going to use this one now if I click info by here it's got dynamic and static ticked for example this one only has dynamic meaning that you can only move this you can't have this any other way in your map so the dy dynamics ticked it's all good, I can use it. But click OK and apply. Now it's placed a train in. You know, just adjust this where I want it. Now I'm going to have it start in static and then move once I click a button. So if I just place that to where I want it. Okay, so now that this, the train's in place, we need to give it a name. So I'm going to name it. Oh no, sorry, we don't need to name the train. That's the one thing we don't need to name. Right. So now that we've done that, let's add a track train. So click the block tool, shift and B or just click it, and change the texture to a no draw. And I want you to draw over the tr the train. And it's about from the bottom of the train. So as you can see, a no draw block has drawn over most of my train. Right. So if I just adjust this train so it's a bit lower. Right. So that's involved. We need to click on the no draw block, Control T to tie to entity, and write in a funk underscore track train. Now this is what you usually do with the finale exit vehicle, but it's just another thing you can just your map to transport across tunnels or anything really you want. So we need to name the track train, so I'm going to name it for now train. And I'm going to go down to the list of options and you can see height above track is for I'm going to put that to note because I'm going to have the path to go track right up to the track train another thing is the first stop point which is where it's going to start which is by first stop target so I'm going to put in one which is what I'm going to be calling my path to go track so if you don't want to get confused use the same names as what I do okay so first stop target one and then once you get more used to it you can use your own names and stuff so now that we've created the track train and the train we need to parent this train to the track train so if we double click on the train go to the parent option and write in train which is what we called the funk underscore track train so now when this moves that moves okay so that's that now we need to make it move so click the entity tool again and in objects write in path underscore track and place it somewhere where you want the object to start so I want it there and I want this right up against the floor because I said I don't want nothing above the track so now that that's in place double click it give it a name which I'm going to call it 1 because I called which I said the first stop target was going to be 1 for the track train and the next stop target I'm going to put 2 Okay, and we don't need to pair in that to anything because I want them to stay still. So now that we've done that, we need to go to the other end. You can make many different path tracks, but I'm just going to use two for now to keep it simple and to get you started. So click the entity tool again, place on the floor, go to it, make sure it's aligned with the floor, and name it two. Now if you wanted the train to go back, 
you put number one again, or if you wanted to just go to another target, put number three. But as I wanted to just stop when it gets to the end, I'm going to leave it blank and click apply. So that is all you need to do with the train. Now we need to something to trigger it or press it. So I'm going to go over here and I got a block. So I'm going to click the block tool and draw a little button in. Do that perfect because and just change the texture. I'm gonna put a word texture just to be able to show you guys. Right. So that's in place. We need to click the block tool, click control T to tie to entity, and write in funk underscore button. And that's that. Right, so now click go to the outputs tab, click add, and my output named on pressed as we are pressing the button targets entities named which is what we call the train or the track train which we did call it train via this input set speed because as soon as we click this button the speed will speed up to a certain amount of speed and I'm gonna put 64 you can do whatever you want you pick the speed you want so I'm gonna click apply and as I'm only gonna be able to click it once I'm gonna click apply once only click apply and that is that sorted so that would when I click that button now the train will move to the next target I'll just quickly show you again right so we're in my map now I got my button there my train there and you can't see the track train because we made it a no draw tool and when we click this button here that train should move from there to there so I click it and the train is moving as I wanted it to do it's moving at a nice steady speed like I said you can increase the set speed to wherever you like and it should move and stop when it gets to the end just wait for this together it's quite an easy process once you know what you're doing but to get used to it first would be the main thing and your main priority so it's got there, it's stopped where I wanted it to stop and it's all worked. For example, this is where you use it for the finale where it moves from a path track to another and you get on it and it moves to the next path track to end the level. But that concludes this tutorial on how to make movable objects. Do experiment with this and use other things such as cars, buses and do what you like. And I hope this helps you. So thanks guys.